Political candidates are carefully studying personal details of your personal life. They want to know what you buy, your hobbies, even what TV shows you like. It's the kind of information they need to help flip your vote in their favor. Channel 2's Andy Sirota reveals how campaigns are using this strategy and why it could be the key to winning the White House. Rallies, protests, now here comes the RNC. debates, As president of no the puppet. State. more than a year of campaigning and the circus that has become the 2016 presidential election cycle comes down to this, swaying those coveted undecided voters. Voters like Houston area mom Kimmy Longstreet. She's married and has a one-year-old son, Easton, but... Kimmy has a secret. I think there's a lot more people out there like me than will admit it, especially on camera. She's never voted in her life. That's about to change next week. Especially now that I have a little one and I feel like his future is involved now that it's kind of my responsibility. Tell us who you're going to vote for. I don't know yet. I really don't know. Because she's on the fence, the quintessential suburban white picket fence, candidates need her vote and they'll fight hard for it armed with an arsenal of very personal, very specific information. It's the straddles line between cool and creepy. Ken Strassma is the CEO of Haystack DNA. Ken's company pioneered a high-tech way to target voters. And in 2008, Ken's data gathering technique helped President Obama win the White House. In the old days, campaigns would cold call voters and bombard mailboxes with junk mail. Now, modern campaigns are digging up personal details about your life and using it to persuade switchable voters. It's called micro-targeting. They also can buy this information from these big retail houses who collect this information based upon a lot of different things. You could, you could all make me Professor Brandon Roddinghouse knows so much about micro-targeting, he's teaching a course about it at the University of Houston. He says candidates are gathering all kinds of specifics about your daily life. Do you buy generic or brand name cereal? Do you subscribe to cable TV? Are you wealthy? Are you not wealthy? Uh, what's your age range and what's the probability of that affecting your ability to go vote? So all these little factors play into what they know about you and how they can use that to predict whether or not you will go vote and go vote for their candidate. And of course, what you're talking about on social media. Harder and harder to get survey responses on the phone. People don't want to tell you who they're voting for but they'll go on social media and tell you what they had for breakfast and about their doctor's appointment and everything else. These campaigns no longer spend millions buying ad time with messages for a generic audience. Now they gather information about you and create customized messages sent to your inbox or cell phone. In the future, campaigns won't go door to door with clipboards. They'll all have smartphones containing personal profiles so they can cater their pitches directly to voters like Kimmy. It's a little creepy. It doesn't surprise me. If they can use that information to get their selling points across to the voter, then that's great. Andy Sirota, KPRC Channel 2 News.